Okay. Okay. No. Yeah, we're gonna have this. There you go. No. Too far over. Just cut my. Yeah. Cut my arm off. Hey guys, nope. what's up? There you go. You're gonna do that. I can scoot cool. in. Yep. You can slam. Okay. Cool. What's up, guys? We're back. <laughs> all right. So it's official. It's all happening. It's all happening. Here we go. Now let me do the podcast intro as usual for the uh, recorded crowd. All right. I think Marsha can scoot over a little bit. Uh, yeah, Marsha can scoot over. Yeah. We're good. I don't like. Just sit this close behind right. me. <laughs> cool. Okay. So we got the live chat going and all right, here we go. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Horror Show Podcast. I'm Cecil Laird. Dirk Heron. I mean Fuego here. Marsha Parker. Welcome back, you guys. We are once again doing the live stream. This is our first official live stream that we actually announced to you guys. Uh, <laughs> let us know if you can hear us okay. I'm gonna be checking in on everyone There's people um, in coming. just a second. Yeah, coming. people are popping up Hi, already. So what's up? what's up? Yeah, okay. Um, we got Less yellow lighting, but it's a little harsher on us. See, that's why I had it further back, guys, just so we know. I look way more Irish now. Yeah, Fuego <laughs> looks like he's a ghost, so. Ooh, I don't look so red. <laughs> yeah, Fuego, uh, the dirt doesn't look a little as red quite, so we're working that out. But yeah, basically what we wanted to do, you guys, besides doing our first, um, you know, official live stream that we had scheduled, which we will be doing here every Sunday night at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, we'll pick a different theme. Hopefully I can jockey up the angle on this thing a little bit better so we're not like we don't have a weird wall right here. But uh, but nonetheless, today's theme is going to be Monster Madness. Now, favorite. what that means is um, we are going to be actually discussing creatures. Uh, I should have specified that it was creature monsters, not like the universal monsters. But we are going to be doing a panel, one of, I think, we're going to do at least five, possibly seven panels at the upcoming Phoenix Comic Con 2017. Mm -hmm. Busy bees. Um, and one of the panels is going to be called Monster Madness, or I might call it Creature Craziness, just to clear up any confusion. <laughs> How about Monster point. Madness and Creature Craziness? Maybe so, but, uh, but then, I, then I, would, I would feel obligated to touch on the Universal Monsters. <laughs> but uh, I don't want to do creature, that. I mean, at least Black Lagoon and Mummy and stuff. I mean, they're classical yeah, monsters. They're classic monsters, but that's not the point. The point I'm talking about is creature creatures, you know. Monsters that in the in to me the most classic sense things under your bed things that are quadrupedal like, you know like that, the boogeyman because that's not a monster well the boogeyman is a good example I mean he couldn't I mean he's less humanoid in my mind he's I got think of him in the I think of the Ghostbusters the real Ghostbusters boogeyman crap, exactly I mean. so okay so here we go let's uh, let's dive into the comments um so Marsha what does I'm monster mean to you while I start looking through these comments. Um, well... What's up to Dino from the Late Late Horror Show? I'll try and pick my moments uh, okay. to interrupt you. Go ahead. Um, well, I am one of those people who think classic monsters, like Frankenstein's monster is yeah. a good monster. Um, but, but the first thing that comes to mind, actually, is the movie Host. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a Korean movie. Oh, yeah. It's on my list here. Yeah, yeah, like, that movie, like, if I think of creature features, I think of that movie because it's so well done. You feel for every single character, even the creature itself. Mm -hmm. And it, I, I mean, I can't just say enough words about that. Yeah, movie. big time empathy, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so jumping in real quick. Um, Dino from the Late Late Horror Show, what's up? Cool beans, I uh, love the live streams. Uh, the, we're dipping our toe, honestly, Dino. You were a big inspiration. Um, if you guys haven't checked it out, the Late Late Horror Show does a live stream every Friday uh, talking about, he basically does trivia with the viewers for Friday the 13th movies. That's what he started what? with. So week one was Friday the 13th part one, week two was Friday the 13th part mm -hmm. two, week three was Friday the oh, 13th part guest. three, and we have a guest um, horror show, Cat, Cat Tetra. Let's get on um, but, uh, but yeah. Um, so check that out. It basically, Dino asks um, questions, trivia questions about Friday the 13th, and then you guys, the viewers, can chime in with your answers. And um, I don't know if they actually give anything away, uh, because I'm so busy producing our show, I haven't had a chance to watch more than a few minutes of one of his streams, but I, I, I plan to, because I love the Friday the 13th series. But I kind of want to rewatch the movies before I watch his trivia nights. <laughs> yeah, I would love to rewatch them myself. I know they just did the uh, anniversary for the fifth film, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh. 
Yeah. Possibly. Which, possibly. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like floating on the you know different Twitter spheres and stuff. But, but just rolling that was through the one real where he quick. Wasn't even uh, the killer, right? That was the one with the spoilers. It was the like hospital guy, or <laughs> ambulance worker, or something. Yeah, that was one of the worst ones because it wasn't terrible. actually Jason. So anyway, uh, what's up to uh, Tanisha Fuller, uh, Ray Laro? What's up, Tom Cabler? What's up? I I know you Imagine got your. Tom. Uh, coexist shirt at this point. Rose, what's up? Thank you for joining us. Um, we hey miss Rose. you too. Uh, we are going to be doing the uh, the live reaction to the Walking Dead finale coming up in a week or two. So it's hopefully, be at my house. hopefully you can make that. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, super plush dude, what's Washington's up? House. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Sounds great, in friend. What's happening, guys? Three o'clock in the morning. Balls to the walls is you watching us on. at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Balls. What's up? Appreciate it, sir. So, yeah, <laughs> we're, we're drinking. I mean, yeah, thank you, Balls. <laughs> Marsha and I are drinking right here. So, um, thank you very much for staying up and joining us this late, brother. We appreciate it. Here's to you. Uh, the real TTP, thanks for coming, Balls to the Walls. Yeah, see, everyone loves Balls. <laughs> Dude, he's awesome. <laughs> everyone loves Balls. That's a, that's a universal truth. Go hey, guys, long days and pleasant nights. Uh, from Rubber Soul 81. Is that a reference for you, Flying Indeed up? it is. You can stay tuned for the episode of Hail to Stephen King coming later tonight. Uh, Godzilla. Godzilla? Yeah, Godzilla's absolutely a creature feature. Mm -hmm. um, yes. You know what? That's King a good Kong's jumping off point. Super Plush Dude SPD jumped in with Godzilla. And let's start off with Black and White giant creature movies. Mm. Uh, yeah. Because, you know, they're definitely Power Rangers? monster movies. No, not Power Rangers. <laughs> Um, but uh, but let's talk Godzilla and more specifically, or not necessarily more specifically, but also Kong Skull Island because that just Very came good. out. So yeah, that was good. so like giant that. monsters between that and Pacific Rim, which I know Marcia you probably saw, right? The Guillermo del Toro giant. Wow. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Marcia's gonna dive away at this point, but no, it seems like giant monsters are de rigueur again. You know, they're they're back and and hip once again. What yeah. do you what do you guys think of this? Marsha, have you seen any of those? Cloverfield? Did you see the new Godzilla? You didn't. Okay. Uh, what a tough Cloverfield. Actually, you know what? Cloverfield I did. almost was the, the initial. I did watch the latest Godzilla. Okay, okay. Well, talk, talk about Cloverfield and Godzilla because I'm honestly, bigger, you're right. I'm a bigger fan. J.J. Abramson's mm -hmm. Cloverfield was sort of. Um, the return of the giant monster mm -hmm. movie to American yeah, cinema. It was amazing. Yeah, and it's found footage, mm -hmm. done right. Mm -hmm. um, and it, the monster wasn't fully revealed until the end, which was satisfying. Mm -hmm. I even just finished uh, 10 uh, Cloverfield Lane. So good. Um, which I thought it was really cool because you know, it's not just a bunker where you have this guy who may or may not be a serial killer, but you also you have him and you also have the fact that there is a real threat outside too. So I thought that that was a cool... Mm -hmm. uh, is it one or the other is all? Well, it was cool the way they played it against each other where they're like, mm -hmm. is there really something going on outside or not? And yeah, it, then yeah. that's because it was originally a different movie. It wasn't a Cloverfield oh. movie. And then they shot some stuff at the end and turned it into a Cloverfield movie. Oh, so there okay. You go. Well, I liked it. Uh, I like, I li oh, sorry. I'm too <laughs> close. I caught up my hands. Um, I liked it overall, <laughs> except for, like, if I was in there, I feel like, bitch, <laughs> just kill the guy that's yeah. a threat and stay where you are because obviously going outside is a bad option. <laughs> oh, Brittany Lee just jumped in on our lunch break. Hi, <laughs> Brittany. Brittany. <laughs> okay, so Dawn of the Thread joined in. Horror That's Show Entertainment. Um, Brian Gatto of Horror Show Entertainment just joined us. What up, Brian? What up, B? Um, thank you very much for joining us. I know you've got a lot to say about monsters too, because Brian is very much like me. He's a big uh, creature monster, or I'm sorry, sea monster fan. Mm, um, so he's yeah. he's done all of the Meg books um, as reviews on his channel and a bunch of stuff like that. So uh, shout out to him. Check out his channel, Horror Show Entertainment. Very similar name. We have the Late Late Horror Show with Dino. We have Horror Show Entertainment with uh, Brian Gatto. And then we are, of course, the Horror Show Channel. And I just sent for a specific person um, who was requested by... Um, here, let me jump back a little bit because we had... Uh, okay, here we go. We had, hey guys, made it from Shannon Ravon. What's up, Shannon? Shannon! Are you wrong? Um, Shannon, I hope you received your shirt. I think you did. Um, <laughs> balls to the walls. I don't need to read your 420 statement balls, but I might have anyway. 
Adam Wells says, I love Marsha the best, LOL. Yeah. <laughs> um, the Real TTP says, I think Andrew Mercer is great also. Oh. And we just so happen to have on hand Mr. Mercer. Scoot in here, dude. Hi. Andrew, you want to sit in front of a microphone briefly? He's got we got to squeeze him in. Everyone's got to slide a little bit if we need to squeeze Andrew in. Well, we don't need to see Oh, there's face. tons of room with me. We can actually, <laughs> look, at, look at how much room. We can actually, yeah. Andrew, if you want to angle, angle, angle the thing a little bit. No, he's want. in. He's in. Okay. We're so Andrew's in. Here Mercer's here. here. What's up? So he's actually here. He's kind of half on in, half off. He's a little two face. No, I got you. Go ahead. Give me a sound check. Hey there, check one two. This is what I do okay. for a living. You're check in. One, two. You're in. You're in. You're good. <laughs> he was right. requested. You wanted him. You he's can get here. in closer. Okay. So okay. Andrew is here as well. Um, going through. Let's see. I'm really close Love the chat. Okay. A uh, uh, fine piece of pussy right there. Wow. <laughs> I think they're talking uh, about the cat. Oh, okay. You were talking about the cat. Okay. Uh, thank you. I hope you're talking about the cat. <laughs> thank you, boss. <laughs> it was either the I was like, wow. Well, or... because it follows up, Marsha, we love you. And Marsha's great. <laughs> I'm like, fine piece of pussy right there. I'm like, hey, oh. now. Hey, now. Don't dream it's over. Let's keep it clean. Okay, well, timing is everything. Okay, wait, no, this is a good one. I'm going to jump in with a question from Super Plush Dude, which is yeah. if you could remake a creature feature, what would it be? Oh, I know what his is going to be. Mine? Yeah. What, what is it? Please enlighten me. Because yeah, I have so many jokes. Or Tremors, Tremors, Tremors. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Tremors? I would, no, I don't think I would need to. Re I don't think I would need to remake Tremors. I would love to do my version of Tremors. I have an entire opening mm -hmm. for a movie in the Tremors universe. Um, I haven't fleshed it out beyond that, are but... We, are we about to well, they have a TV show picture. Out? Yeah, yeah. 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 that's true. Episode. That would be great. I'm I should, really I should write a spec script, yeah. honestly. What that TV show is going to be like with Kevin Bacon returning to the role and stuff. Really? It's a Hulu series, yeah. <sighs> Andrew, do you have a creature series you would do? Oh man, you put me on the spot like this. Um, well, you I, can't, can, I can't think of anything. Really. Well, think about it while we talk, and maybe right. something will pop in your head. Yeah. I know what Anyone I would do. Fuego, go ahead. I would redo the stuff. Because uh, yeah. I that feel counts, like the counts. commercialism That's... of it and the mm -hmm. message of the film would hit even harder. But Fuego, you just can't get yeah. enough uh -huh. of the stuff. <laughs> great, great Leonard Cohen movie, by the yeah. way. He's done some turds, but that movie is great. Uh, Dirk, what would you do? Uh, I would do Monster Squad, actually. Ooh. Especially since, one. like, uh, mm -hmm. um, what? Shane, Shane Black, Black, Shane Black Decker. and mm -hmm. Fred Decker. They're, well, they're writing the script for uh, Predator. Predator. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Predator. Uh, Predator. And so, yes. if, that if cast keeps growing, dude. They just I, added I Edward know. James almost this week. It's crazy. So, if, if that does really well, it would, it would be cool if they would just produce it. And, yeah. And, uh, I don't know. I, I would even like to see Fred Decker directed again but mm. just like he also uh, did Night of the Creeps if I'm not mistaken yeah, which was Night another of kind of monstrous mm. movie not like creature creature but yeah no. can I make up a movie? sure <laughs> <laughs> Can we, do, can. Can can we do can we do Highlander meets Godzilla? <laughs> no, wow. That <laughs> seems pretty one-sided. One yeah, it was Really one-sided? I don't think. I mean, unless they cut the Godzilla Achilles heel. Oh. Uh, he's what? fighting the little Godzilla. What if they like match in, uh, up together to fight Brown. the evil? <laughs> that would be know. crazy if he cut off Godzilla's head and then like acquire his power. Yeah. <laughs> and he like could grow and like <laughs> shoot fire out of his mouth. Yeah. See, you're on the scene. <laughs> that would be a mega creature. Andrew, anything jump to mind? Uh, I got nothing. <laughs> all right, <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. You're half off screen anyway, so it's all right. Everything's been done already. <laughs> well, not there. No, not no. That's true. I'm here. Actually, yeah, it looks actually really good. That's interesting. Okay, so uh, um, all right. So love the cat. Late late horror show says, "Hey hey horror hounds." Yep. Uh, okay. Dawn of the thread. Whoop. Uh, joining is my love. There it is. Ooh. KJ says, "Would you guys consider doing a horror movie collection video or a tour of your guys' horror lair?" Funny you should say that, KJ. If you go into our vlog. Uh, 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 what do you call it? Playlist? Mm -hmm. yeah. Then yeah. you will see the cool. most recent vlog, number four, I believe it was, was a studio tour. Yeah. So you can check out what our studio looks like. And it's funny, a lot of you guys commented, that's smaller than I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, yeah. That's what she said. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Ouch. Wow. Yeah, cool. Wow. That's right. <laughs> that's what somebody on the blocks like that. I feel bad. Uh, Adam Wells says, I'm going to love these live ones. Um, okay, let's see. The real TTP says, fail. Sue K says, hey, y'all, Sue K was on our last oh, um, yeah. live one as well. So thank yeah. you for coming, Sue K. 
Video comp, I hated Pacific Rim, I finally saw it last year. Mm. But, you I know, while, while it might not be the best movie, you have to admit, and Video Comp, I would love your response to this if you're still watching, um, it's still awesome as far as well-done well effects and big creatures go. Yeah. When there weren't big creature fights going on, yeah, the movie sucked and it was slow and boring, but <laughs> when you got those fights... It was awesome to witness because they didn't cut away like the Gareth Edwards Godzilla movie. Shame. Yeah. Shame. Robots versus monsters. Like, yeah. Come on. I mean, yeah, <laughs> for real. Giant I enjoyed Mets, it. You know? Yeah. No one else? No one else like that one? I didn't I, watch I it. I watched it. No. Neither of you have seen it? <laughs> yeah. And I love Gareth Edwards. Wow. Wow. I, I, this it is just wow. didn't appeal to me. You guys are going to get I don't know why up. I didn't. I think I just got distracted Jeez, just with other movies. Other yeah, I love it. <laughs> well, and there's a sequel coming, and it's got the kid from uh, Star Wars Force Awakens. You know, I'm trying to remember the movie that me and you watched together, and it was... Outlander. Uh, Outlander. Maybe Wait, Go ahead, I'll let you finish this. It was like, they were in Mexico, they're trying to go back to the U.S., and monsters? there's these, like, alien, giant alien monsters. Yeah, it was called, yeah, it was called Monsters, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Just a couple, <laughs> just a couple, <laughs> just a couple that like, was yeah. trying to do it? Yeah. Yeah. I like that movie. I want to that say that was a good movie. Also, Gareth Edwards. That yeah. might have been actually, yeah, yeah. 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 But, and that's why he got Godzilla was monsters. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. One led to the other. He because showed monsters really well, when yeah. we didn't expect it in monsters, and then he didn't show monsters when we wanted to see them. He's <laughs> 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 like, screw you guys, I'm gonna do my own thing. Um, horror <laughs> show entertainment says great giant monster, the mega mega shark, and I'm assuming Brian that you mean the megalodon, which is indeed an excellent. Wow, it doesn't. Yeah, we don't look nearly as white in this. It, it looks pretty good. <laughs> Sorry, I'm distracted. <laughs> It looks different to you than, than we see, yes. but, but yes, the I Megalodon shark ways. is an excellent <laughs> creature. And you guys excellent. are going to know that in 2018 when you get to see Meg. Oh, yeah, it yeah. wasn't delayed to 2019, right? It no, was no, just no, delayed, it was just delayed from, from, uh, from early to, to later no, 2018. August, August yeah. 2018. Yeah. Which is about a giant Megalodon. It's essentially Jaws yeah, with yeah, a giant yeah. prehistoric great white shark. So Jason that's going to be excellent. Um, great movie, 10 Cloverfield Lane, shark. Tom Cabler sees, uh, says, <coughs> um, <coughs> excuse me, El, Mien El Miedo Mismo XMX. I really love these chats. Robersoul81, Andrew, press the right bumper, Mercer. Yeah, because you keep telling me, just press the right oh, bumper right. when I'm trying to combine oh, shit. <laughs> so, uh, somebody got it. Somebody out there was watching. Yeah, yeah actually, spoiler for uh, Rubber Soul, his question gets answered this week on Hail to Stephen King. So, Oh, there you go. What's up, Rob? <laughs> All right, perfect. There you go. David Gomez joins in with uh, Not Too Close, I'm Getting Jealous. Tom Campbell smiles. Yeah, the cat. The, okay, suitcase says the critters. I'm yeah. assuming she's referring to a great creature movie. I totally agree. I, I like love the, the critters movies. It even subscribes to the the thing that happened to uh, early 2000s continuations of 90s movies, which mm -hmm. was you had to put them in space for the fourth movie. You have yeah. to put them the in space. Was the third or the fourth one? It was yeah. the fourth one. It was the third one because... Mm. Uh, no, it was the fourth in space. No, no, no. The third one actually had Leo DiCaprio. Leo DiCaprio. Really? Was it the third in space? No, no, no. The fourth one was... Yeah, the third had Leo DiCaprio, the fourth had space. Was like in the apartment. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. That's right. Yeah, I keep forgetting that that was Leonardo DiCaprio. It was kind of cheap gremlins. So yeah, Leprechaun 4 was in space, mm -hmm. Critters 4 was in space. It was list. always the fourth movie that was in space. <laughs> you didn't see that one? No. Any of the Critters? No. Ah, oh, the first two are Kill yeah. yeah. I don't know, it's basically watching other things, like, you know, Single White Female. And Ghoulies. <laughs> and, and, and Ghoulies was great. <laughs> yeah, that's another weird one. Halloween. Um, yes, but I love Critters, so Marsha, we're, Marsha, we're gonna have to do Critters as a, as a yeah. watch through for the show, for Predator, sure. Yeah. You guys, we I mean, plan oh, yeah, to go Predator through all the classic series, just so you guys know. We plan to go through all the classic series and do reviews of them. We're still making our way through the mm -hmm. Alien. Ain't we actually <laughs> need to do the next uh, AVP movie before we do Prometheus, before the new Alien comes out. So you'll yeah. see those in rapid succession leading up do to the new Alien. Do we have that on the list? Predator and Aliens as creatures? Because they can very well be. I mean, yeah. come on. Predator, yeah. I think yeah. Predator is one of my favorite creatures mm. for sure. Yeah, those um, that absolutely He's counts. so cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Or, or, yeah. At least I have to do I that. Have time to predator, 
Requiem. Too. You're the one. Okay. We have well, yeah, we haven't watched Requiem yet. We just watched AVP. Mm -hmm. We've all seen Requiem, but we I've haven't watched it for the show yet. Yeah, we all know that Requiem is probably the worst film in the entire franchise. <laughs> it was the <laughs> darkest. It was the darkest. It was the one with the predalien that you said you have you don't remember seeing. Yeah, and the, the weird pregnancy. Because remember at the, the end of the last women. one, the, the, the alien busts out of the predator. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that is a predalien, and so the next movie is about I've that predalien on the loose. At least I don't think I registered it. Connected. Probably not. At least the original AVP had a decent not. enough cast. College it, was hard. Uh, Requiem was nothing but no <laughs> names, and I'm really not looking forward to rewatching it. But it's a necessary. <laughs> I, I am because I'm much more looking forward to watching Prometheus. I'm actually am looking forward to it because I feel like the, the when I we rewatched <laughs> Alien versus Predator, I learned a lot more. Like I was actually paying attention this time around. Mm -hmm. oh, awesome. And um, after, especially after watching all the other movies, and then and then mm -hmm. watching it, I felt like it was a lot more satisfying so I'm, I'm interested in watching the next one to see what else I connect. Balls to the Wall asks what would win Gremlins versus Critters? Gremlins. Gremlins, right? Gremlins would just I punt the critters do. around like critters. soccer balls. <laughs> I think critters, you think critters even, would? Even if I like the gremlins. Well, because if critters are together, they're like they're like land piranha. Mm -hmm. They would just okay. strip the yeah, gremlins to bones within yeah. seconds. They would just yeah. run over all I'm, of the gremlins. That's true. That's I'm true. Gonna I'm going to make, <laughs> make an uneducated guess because I've only seen part of gremlins. Oh, my God. Oh, gremlins, too, is so good. You're really betraying some bad stuff here. Look, look, look. The reason being is because they <laughs> they like totally messed the fuck up. I, I like I was terrified of the gremlins when I they turned. I love how we're on this. <laughs> it, when they turned, I was totally scared. It was like watching child's play. I was like, I can't watch this. It's okay. like, terrifying. Um, I'm even scared of Furbies. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Horror Show Entertainment. Brian says a remake, Planet of Dinosaurs, and Cue the Winged Serpent. I haven't seen either of those. Wait, Cue the Winged Serpent is more Larry Cohen. Good call, Sir Brian. Are yeah. you about dinosaurs? The TV show because. Because that's terrifying. No, Planet, Planet of the Dinosaurs. <laughs> well, you say so. I don't think we've seen those. Brian Brian delves a little bit deeper into the older horror movies than I do, so I haven't seen some of those. Um, Shannon says, uh, what about Troll Hunter? That would fall into large creatures, yes? Yeah. yes. And I yes. think absolutely Troll Hunter is an excellent is that creature the Vin, movie. Is that the Vin Diesel so much movie? so that I need to write it down because I will forget it because I don't think of it. Is that the Vin Diesel movie? No, no that, what? Well, no, there, there That's was a witch one, hunter. He was the witch hunter, yeah. What? No, troll hunter what? is the. Um, Am I color it's a, it's a foreign film. <laughs> it is a foreign film. I'm trying to think of the country of origin, but I'll I say it's Swedish. We were we reviewed it. Um, Susie von Slaughter and I reviewed oh. it on the channel. Where's Susie? <laughs> Jeez. <Wow. laughs> um, anyway, she, we reviewed it on the channel and. Um, and uh, the the movie is hilarious, and supposedly we've been getting an American remake in the works for a couple of years now. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's Whoa. actually hand happening. Yeah, I'd right. rather see a sequel. I would too. Yeah, because I loved it. I don't know why I think it's like Danish or Finnish or something like that. Yeah, but yeah, uh, Troll Hunter was excellent. Good call, uh, mm -hmm. Shannon. Um, okay, so can I uh, mention one? Are we still talking about? Go ahead. Giant? Too. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, yeah. well, way still, well, you know what? This, this creature becomes giant. My, so my favorite horror film ever <laughs> is actually the late 80s The Blob remake, and mm. that is a creature that starts small, gets bigger, gets more mass. It's got some of the most creative kills of any creature that I've ever seen, <laughs> yeah. whether it's pulling people down into the drains or... You know, the chick in the phone booth, and, and there's there's so much awesome practical nastiness in that. Yeah. The fact that Frank Darabont wrote the script, the him. fact that Chuck Russell, who did the underappreciated, in my opinion, fourth Friday the 13th, I, or excuse me, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, derps, yep, you guys can kill me for that in the comments. But they will. Comments. I think the fourth uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, the Dream, uh, Dream Master, if I remember correctly, is badass. It still has my favorite kill in the entire series where the kid gets pulled into the waterbed and they find him drowned in there and he's stuck like inside you the You just like the it's, boobs. That's right. Your repressed Baptist upbringing. I'm a simple preacher, as I said many times during our most recent review. Wait, are you talking shot. about the blob or are you talking about Nightmare on Elm Street? I'm talking about the bloobs. No, okay. The bloobs. <laughs> Going back to the <laughs> comments yeah, real quick. No, the blob is amazing. Have you guys heard project. of Gamera? Of course we have heard of Gamera. It's the Godzilla light. Yeah, it was the right, giant yeah. turtle. Um, well, it's, it's, it's an ERA, so it's probably not Gamora. Gamera? It's uh, Gamera. Uh, Horse Show Entertainment, Gamera, friend of all children. Um, Suke says The Crawling Eye. I don't, I've never seen that. I don't think any of us have. I know David, the Misfits song. 
Uh, Zachary Haith says, "Giant, uh, any good giant bug movies?" I would say Mimic Ooh, is a yes, very good call. Good. That's not even on my list, and that's Guerrero Twirl, bro. Isn't there yeah. um, a movie that you guys watch with the giant mosquitoes? Stung. Yeah, Stung. Write down Stung for me, too. Oh, wait, too yeah. I want to remember Stung. Stung. Stung was amazing. If you Yes, giant bug movies. That's perfect. Zachary Haith, if you haven't seen Stung yet, it is available on Netflix, and it is an excellent, excellent practical effect excellent. giant bug horror movie. Yeah. It is awesome. Dirk, if too. you haven't seen it, it's, it's amazing. Watch that was Stung. one that we wanted to do a review We've been wanting to do a review for a while, so we, we need to get around to it. But yeah, that was great. I love them. Them is classic. I'd even say something I actually like just saw Ticks in the theater. What would you think? I love it. Had you ever seen it before? No, I hadn't. Really? Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't hold up. Because yeah, I haven't definitely. seen it since I was like eight. No, it holds up. Awesome. Yeah, Giant Ants is them, you guys. Yeah, that was one of okay, the 50s like, driving. You can't watch that, no? So, so popular. I have, I have a really bad experience with Ants. Verave is on. What's up, Verave? Again, Verave, we know that you're French Canadian, so I'm assuming it's Verave instead of uh, Veravet. And Verave, you, you will Raw? get a shirt. You will get a shirt when I have just a little bit extra money. You were right. It is a little pricey, but you will get your shirt soon. I want to know if Verave saw Raw. Um, Horror Show Entertainment, Starship Troopers definitely counts Ooh. as a so good creature movie. Yeah. I don't think Paul Verhoeven does, and that is unfortunately remade in a crappy manner. <laughs> Yeah, they're trying to remake Starship Troopers right now, too, as we talked about in I like the that. news I a few months was, ago. Robo Soul said, no freaking way, love you, Jaime, probably in response to you answering his question. Yeah. <laughs> so um, go ahead. Sorry, Marcia. That's okay. What about Pitch Black? Let's talk about that. Yeah, that's first on my list. Here. I know, I'm looking at his list. Mm, I, I really like. liked Pitch Black. I did not like the second and third ridicule. I movies, love Pitch Black. Write that down, awesome. too. It is No, because Fuego's obviously making a master list, and I'm never going to get a chance to write him down. It was his first song. Well, I loved Pitch list. Black. That was my first introduction to Vin Diesel, along mm -hmm. with everyone Most else. People, yeah. But uh, but I freaking love that movie. I love the Riddick universe. Mm -hmm. I hated. I actually didn't like Chronicles, but I loved Riddick because mm -hmm. it was back mm -hmm. to the Pitch Black of it yeah. all. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, Pitch Black is an excellent creature movie. Excellent. Um, Starship Troopers is classic, except for the ending. It's afraid. You know that's ridiculous. <laughs> but it's, it's corny. But that movie has a lot of corny parts. Well, yeah, it's, it's, like I mean, it's a whole send up of. You you know yeah. the the propaganda of war. Um, yeah. I don't remember the whole movie, but is uh, is Doom one that we might want to think about? Yes, yeah, yeah. that's sure. that's yeah. awesome because that's hell creatures, absolutely. So so Andrew, this is a perfect time for you to chime in. Um, let's uh, let's talk um, about. Uh, did you see the Rock movie? I did or not. You, okay, so you just did the oh, games. Yeah. So go ahead, talk about that. Right? What did, I mean, because that's definitely creature stuff. We just well, talked yeah. about. We said. Crete Monster Madness. That doesn't yeah. necessarily mean it just has to be horror or, or, or yeah. movies. You're opening a world for me. It's kind okay. of uh, right. That's fine. <laughs> creatures are creatures. It's cool to uh, I don't know, just have like the, the I don't want to say realistic because with creatures it's not super realistic, but you know they they put a lot of effort into the story with the portal to hell and actually you know going there then coming back then going mm -hmm. there then coming back so I still remember having the shareware the original game man oh yeah <laughs> it's uh Share it's a classic and you know, I feel like just since everybody's man. had some kind of interaction with it whether you're a kid mm -hmm. and couldn't play the game but you could watch it or you're old enough to play them mm -hmm. and they've had so many remakes that everybody kind of knows Doom knows what it's about and can enjoy it everybody knows that floating eyeball meatball thing yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, now I want to jump in here because Sue K said something funny. Yeah. She said, Sue K, I want to know where you're from. Are you from the UK? The US or are you from overseas? Because you said the toilet ghoul. Yeah. And to ghoulies. me, that, is that ghoulies? Totally ghoulies. It's got to be ghoulies, right? Toilets, right? Yeah, I mean, well, it's got to be like a. a ghoulies, too, a, actually. <laughs> the first ghoulies is Drop kind of weird. Mm. I don't remember them very well, but I, I just remember them coming out of the toilet like the, and scaring me. The satanic cult and the sorcerer, and he's the one that, uh, like, uh, I don't know, brings them to our world and stuff. And mm. brings the toilet. But still not R-rated. Those movies. are all weird PG-13 80s. Chime, chiming in on the uh, the giant bug thing, uh, horror show entertainment, Brian Gatto says, Arachnid from 2001. Eight Legged Franks yeah. and Lava Lantula. Yeah. All good giant yeah. spider movies. I think I would see Big Ass Spider before I would bother with Lava Lantula. 
because that was actually just a little bit I didn't watch more that. fun. I didn't well, watch Legged Freaks, though. I like that. Legged Freaks, Legged Freaks is, is great. Right. Arachnophobia. It's the classic. Arachnophobia, yeah. Arachnophobia is a great one, but oh. that's not giant yeah. creature movies. No, but Although, you it's know, equally terrifying. There's a huge spider at the end. Mm-hmm. And Skeeter. Legged Freaks? Skeeter no, is yeah, actually. Or in uh, Arachnophobia? Arachnophobia. Yeah, oh, the mom spider? Ske- well, it's still a pretty big spider size spider. That thing's like as big as his head. Yeah, What's almost. it to you, panda? <laughs> okay, so, um, okay, uh, Verve says, hey guys, I love you guys. Um, no, Did you see Rock? Okay. Um, KJ says, thanks for the heads up. I'll check out that vlog. Um, are you able to do throwback reviews of some older horror movies? Um, we are doing that. We are going to go through them, as I mentioned. Um, Michael Ironside with a robot arm says mm-hmm. horror show entertainment. Uh, Stars of Troopers was fantastic. How old so, is old? Slither is a great monster yeah. movie. Jason oh, Chamberlain oh, just signed on. Jesus. What up, Jason? Jason! Congratulations, Jason! Jason. Yeah, congrats, yeah, Jason. Jason just had a new addition to his life, so congratulations to him. We love you, man. Him and his wife, Shannon. Um, I saw the world's youngest air guitar picture on Facebook today. It was really cute. So Aww. welcome, Jason. Shout out to you and your family, your full family now. Um, okay, so here we go. Uh, oh, my God. I'm so far behind. I got to yeah, catch up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, do you know, oh, I'm actually going to mention whiz. another underrated monster movie that I liked from the 90s. Yeah. And it mm-hmm. is called The Relic. Oh, yes. Hell you've seen the relic yes. is amazing. Is Did you read it's the just book? relic? But they, it's just called book. relic. Yeah. It's just but I know there is a book. I read it. Did you read it? Did you the read the book? I've not read the book. I, oh I read God, the book. It's amazing. I read the book. Mm. So much Producer better than Dave and I read the book. Yeah. Relic Quarry, the sequel, not nearly as good. I yeah. didn't bother with that. that. Relic was amazing, the though. Relic... It was a Douglas Preston and Lincoln Child creature book. It made me want to be work in a museum. <laughs> <laughs> Marsha, I had a Furby back in the day, and it went rogue and would randomly talk in the middle of the night. See, I told you they uh, can't be ghost trusted. Shit. I agree, girl. They're effing scary. Yes. That's what Vera Bay says. <laughs> what, <Yes>. rogue? <laughs> what rogue? Suke yeah. says, I had can't a pink Furby, and it was a monster to me growing up. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, how long ago did that Furby thing say? Because I didn't even hear that. Do you know what they're talking about? I had a Digimon. Lazy Gamer. What's up, Lazy Gamer? Um, we we might not actually get to reacting to your stuff today like I thought. We're a little behind on our recording, but we will get to it soon, so um, bear with us. Um, he actually put together a few challenges for us. A few, uh, you know, try not to sing, try not to do this or that. Try so we'll we'll sing. get to that's those. That's hard. Yeah, that's, that's, a, really that's gonna be a fun really one. Hard. Yeah. I sing. I'm so singing we'll right now, that. and I mean, I can't. Is stop. it is it inward singing? <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Uh, okay. Uh, CK says the bugs. That's probably the one. Yes, it was Norwegian. Norwegian was uh, troll, hunter. troll hunter. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I Big mythological lore. Lazy Some Gamer says, Fuego, stop. You're bringing them back. No, the nightmares. <laughs> Seth Rael is, in the, Wait, is in the room. I don't know what we're referring to at that point. I'm yeah. a little behind. I'm trying to catch up real quick. Seth Rael says, The Blob, new and 50s version with Steve McQueen. The Blob is a creature uh, movie. Yeah. That, that's the we one did that talk about I, that. I talked yeah, about that already. Yeah. It's my favorite horror movie. Okay, I'm Keep just uh, <laughs> Super plush dude, who would win, Batman or Jason from Friday the 13th? That's not creature, so we're going to set that aside. Super Wait, plush dude. Um, Batman. Batman. Clearly. Batman doesn't lose. No way. I, I don't, Jason I think totally Jason would, would probably rip him up. Really? Yeah. If Batman can beat aliens and predators, Batman cries at everything. Jason can't be stopped. El Miedo Mismo MX says, We're very proud of Guillermo del Toro. He's our national pride. Well, should be. He is amazing. Yeah, Pan's Labyrinth. Is Piranha Piranha considered a creature horror film? I would say so. I would say so. Because here's the thing. I think think nature's creatures fit under the, yeah, you know, like, nature's monsters fit in the monster category. So then would that be, like, even The Edge and stuff like that? Or yeah, the yeah. I thought yeah. The Edge was a wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> he used to be. Yeah, that was pretty rough. Sorry. In a long, long time ago. <laughs> All right. Um, what up, Zephyr? Did you hear about that? Uh, yeah. We have heard of the Korean <laughs> film called The Wailing. Um, I don't know if that's a creature movie, Lazy Gamer. So the we'll Wailing is that, that uh, Korean now. movie that yeah. Yeah. Some have you guys watched any black and white horror movies? Um, yeah, I'm sure we've yeah. stumbled across them, but I, yeah, I haven't sucked them out. Up, bro. I mean, the Mummy, uh, Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Yeah. 
I haven't seen Raw yet, and unfortunately didn't come to my theaters. Uh, oh, fair thing. You need to check it out, girl. It's good. Shannon says, such a Pitch Black fan. Um, there we go. We're getting recent. We're catching we're up. We're getting there. Um, what do you mean? This? Okay, there, there's a fight breaking out. There's a fight breaking out. Really, it's good. How about the mist? Go to the Predator. Four to five. I have to four bring Stephen King in there. Black well. t-shirts. Mr. Fluffy says four to five. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, Mr. Fluffy. Four out of five horror dudes prefer white or prefer black T-shirts. Andrew, Andrew wasn't expecting. I wasn't to calling, all right. Yeah, he was. <laughs> it's he was my day off. But I'm, I'm, I'm wearing a Dexter shirt, and I need credit for that. If you could make a versus movie with creature feature stuff, uh-huh. what would it be? Okay. Okay, that's now good. that's, that's a good. topic we can slow down. Let's for. slow down for that. That is good. Okay, shout out to Super Plush Dude SBD for that. If you can make a versus movie with a creature with creature feature stuff. What would it be? Did we already touch on the Critters versus Gremlins? <laughs> a little bit. That's, a little bit. that's, that's one. Expand, I'm, I'm going to change. But no, I would say I'm going to do... Hmm. Oh, that's tough. That's so tough. Um, I would do Jaws versus the Croc from Rogue. I think that would be fun to see. Placid. Instead of Lake Placid. Well, no, hmm. maybe the... The Croc from Lake Placid. Again, this is just off the top of my head. Jaws versus get, the Croc from Lake Placid. I got one. Okay. So, Tremors, something oh. underground. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, like, that uh, wasp nest, whatever Stun. movie. Stung. Stung. So, oh. there's a battle in the air and a battle underground, and we're caught in between. Ooh. Oh. All right. We'll make it. It's a so, you're, you're talking about the humans in between. We're following the humans mm-hmm. in between yes. that are stuck. Yeah. Okay. What okay. about... Whoever okay. wins, we lose. What about... Oh. <laughs> Uh, the mummy versus the relic. Mm, the relic the cat liked it. Ass. The cat liked it. The relic yeah, 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 sure. right <laughs> Because sure. the mummy has powers. The relic no, it is doesn't. just. What, is, what powers does the mummy have? The uh, mummy. Can, like, oh, you're talking about the new mummy that can like summon plagues and stuff, not yeah. like the old uh, mummy. Yeah, like the okay. mummy, like with, with Brendan. Imhotep. Brendan Fraser mummy. Brendan Fraser mummy. Imhotep. Okay. Not, not right. common. Brandon Fraser. <laughs> I'm going to see the mummy versus the crazy, the pyramid monster, and the one that you and I. Someone said. So speaking of which, someone said pyramid head is the elite creature. See, thank you. I was going to talk about pyramid head thank from you. Silent Hill. Rubber Soul yeah. says, "What up, Marsha?" Yeah. Right after that. Yeah, because horror <laughs> show entertainment, Brian Gatto. I gotta say, the stuff versus the blob, I would love to see. Well, the stuff well, is basically I mean, a satire of the blob yeah. in a lot of ways. Okay, but let's play along there. What about drink a little what more? About the, what about <laughs> uh, the blob uh, versus the stuff would be amazing, but I think the, the blob would probably. Eater. Of course, it would. the one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people eater. One-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people eater. You said the trigger. You said the trigger! <laughs> to, to be honest, the only thing I remember about that movie is the beginning when they're all jumping on trampolines. Did you fall asleep? No, I don't know why. That's the only thing I remember. Okay, you know, I actually have one since I love Frank Hennenlogger so much. Any lovers of Frank Hennenlogger out there? Huh? 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 I would go Belial from Basket Case versus um, whatever the, the weird snake thing from Brain Damage was. Sandra Wildbrenner said she just got her t shirt. Thank you, that's awesome. That must be from me if I go. Yeah, hail to Stephen King! What? She's in Relic the, is a good call. Fuego, my dad really likes right? the Relic. I haven't seen it myself. No, oh, you need to watch it. Everybody let them catch up on the chat real quick. <laughs> They're like, chat, slow down. They're too slow. Yeah. Uh, greetings. Schlarg. From, okay, wait. Schlarg noise says, Whoa. greetings from Schlarg. I hope you all <laughs> great today. Uh, much is. puke gore love. I like that. I don't know what that means, but schlarg? much much puke gore love to you, Schlarg. That's amazing. Is that like so I do have that. Say. G or something? Has anybody heard of the surprised. old movie Grizzly? I'm thinking about yeah. watching it. Yes. Yes, Grizzly was the post Jaws where they were trying to do like Jaws in different areas. Mm-hmm. Jaws in the woods. Yeah. Um, not as hour. not as yeah. successful. It was just it was the same as The Edge, <laughs> except it was yeah no it wasn't a shark. A monster. It, it was a shark. Yeah. No, it was works. A shark walk around. Yeah. There's a movie called Land Shark coming out. Looks so bad. Nope. It's a it's a grizzly bear. Surprisingly enough, a movie called Grizzly, about a grizzly bear. <laughs> <laughs> Thought they'd slide a shark in there somewhere. I found you the creature, like the, I found the quote-unquote creature 
in the village, terrifying and awesome. But it's yeah. Until it wasn't a creature, creature. Oh, yeah. which is what insane. Shannon says. Okay, I loved the village until you realized it was the slow kid. I loved it up. even I hated, after. Hated, hated, hated the movie through it. David through. Gomez is wearing his Coexist shirt. Oh, Walk on, David yeah. Gomez. Well, so, thank you very it? much. Hey, white. David Gomez. He also got thanks. His from, uh, a million exclamation points because I know you love the exclamation points. <laughs> he actually got his from Hail to Stephen King too. So. Um, I believe Devil's Candy was reviewed. Uh, we have not reviewed it yet. Zethriel. Ooh, I jumped ahead. No, that's bit. one that I'm. Can we talk Ethan about Jeepers Creepers? Creepers? Oh, I'm actually almost caught up. Rapid fire. We should Jeepers. Rapid fire. Silverback Jeepers. Gorilla versus Grizzly Bear. Who wins in a fight to the death? That's Edward Silverback. D. Silverback. All Wait, day. what? Hmm. A silverback versus a grizzly bear. Silverback. Jeepers, I don't know about that. I, 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 got I would think it's a silverback too. Those things, because no. yeah, he can maybe get really around on, on the back of the bear and just like, <laughs> you no. know, like uh, grizzly I don't think bear. It's that smart. Grizzly bear. I think it would just be a fight. And I just, I, I have, have you seen I the Revenant? Oh my mm-hmm. god, that was. Yeah, Revenant that was pretty boring. And you know, I'm no, surprised. No, not boring. That... Like I saw the bear fight, and I had to change the channel because oh, well, it was, that was hardcore. so intense. I you say fight it. like it was a two sided thing. Super okay, yeah, super super, plus, super plush dude. Super plush dude. You are not the only one that wants Sharknado versus Lavalantula. <laughs> I would watch that because we got we've had four Sharknado movies. We're now getting a fifth, and then we've had Lavalantula, and then two lava, two Lantula. I've only seen um, three. Um, but uh, but that would be fun. Is the creeper a creature? And yes. I would say yes. Jeepers, Jeepers Creepers. Creepers. Like, Creepers. Trying, Absolutely. Thank you. I'm trying to talk about Jeepers Creepers. She's been trying for like okay. five minutes. Here's well, here's Zachary Hay. Yeah, here. Zach. <laughs> Go ahead. Exactly. What do you want to say about it? What do you, you want to say about it? I think it's amazing. Yeah. I love, okay, Jeepers Creepers was an all-around awesome movie. I love the creature because not only does he look humanoid, but he can also fly and he can take parts that he wants. And his van is awesome. Like, be I'm eating you? I tried to make that my license plate. <laughs> but Ari- <laughs> sorry, Arizona won't allow it. Um, Super Clutch Dude name. also says Pumpkinhead versus the Creeper. Ooh, mm. How have we not mentioned Pumpkinhead? Oh, Pumpkinhead is an excellent creature. I would, creature I would watch excellent. Pumpkinhead versus the Creeper. Because the Creeper could stick and fly away, mm-hmm. but Pumpkinhead would just be like, <laughs> like. But Pumpkinhead's awesome. Go ahead, Derek. Pumpkinhead you. would be a good remake. That would be. I would, be, like I would love to see yeah. one right now. Yeah. Are they? Yeah, they are. Are they really? They are. That's amazing. Yeah, oh, that's right. Were you there? Yeah, I was, <laughs> but <laughs> do you know how many stories we cover every month? Yeah. It's insane, yeah. It's crazy. That's so a lot, like, at um, least Jay Bear, we did not <laughs> review The Devil's Candy yet. We did a trailer reaction for it, which is what Zeth, I'm sure, mm-hmm. is thinking of. I think it's uh, like Bubba yeah. Hotep was great, Late Late Horror Show says. Well, there was a, a mm-hmm. mummy in there. There was a mummy in there. Um, I guess then you can uh, even say the... Hey guys, regarding Pyramid future. Head, um, someone made a short film in two parts that is what? a love uh, a love film to Silent Hills. What? So, Marsha, we should can watch that and do a reaction. Can you write that down? Well, we can refer to this. Yeah, write that down, you Marcia. can write yeah. that down. Silent Hills. Um, we'll, we'll watch that, Marsha. Pyramid then, Head fan film. I have another one that I'm surprised nobody's that mentioned yet of viewers <laughs> and of uh, any of us up here. The Thing. Oh, well, of John course, The Thing. The Thing is the ultimate creature movie, yeah. to me. <laughs> the, thing, the Thing is absolutely, is without a doubt, the best head. creature movie Marshall. that has ever been made. It's arguable. In my opinion. It's arguable. What no. is? And the there, what, what's better? What's better? The Blob. <laughs> Fuck you. you know, the Blob is better than The Thing? Oh, yeah. I I what? All day. Guys. Put Fuego in his place. <laughs> what is better? Blow up chat. The right 1980s now. blob or the 1980s thing? Personal oh, I'm going to win this in a landslide. Personal Anybody opinion. Anybody telling you this? Film is subjective, sir. <laughs> Dirk, what do you think is better? Thing. Oh, fuck yeah. Boom. I don't think I'm going to beat anybody at this better? table, but... I've um, only watched the blob. So there is... Yeah, right, so that's, that's, oh, that's, that's the blob. Thing. Andrew, have you seen either? I haven't yeah. seen either one. I'm staying completely out of it. So this. we're two, at, two, two against two at this table. So we need yeah, the comments. Yeah, yeah. We need the comments. Um, El oh, Miedo Mismo oh. says The Thing. Verove says, I'm sorry I'm with Cecil. I like The Thing better. Okay. The Thing versus Mr. Fluffy, The Battle of Antarctica. Nice. Tom Cabler <laughs> says The Thing. Zethriel says The Thing. It's fine. I, I okay. love it. <laughs> okay, so now I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go back. You know because what, staying, I'm staying up with in myself. Right. Zachary says The Thing. 
Boss the Wall says, agree with you, Cecil. The thing is excellent. Practical effects are outstanding. I have an idea for Shark to Puss, and it would be called Shark to Puss versus Shark to Dial. Shark to Puss. I'm going to just say this for Jaime. Like Jaime's like used to being in the underdog section of the work. I'm not fine with it. It's fine. It's fine. I like this. Rubber Soul said, the crooked man from Conjuring Ooh. 2 versus, he said the thin man, but I think he means the pale man from Pan's Labyrinth. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So the crooked man, uh, I'm going to go with crooked man. Because I think crooked man is the most scary practical effect that we've seen in a yeah. horror movie. And yes, I did say practical effect because he was a practical effect. Yeah, Him moving across the ceiling was CG, sure, but... He was an actor, and anytime you saw the crooked man lunging at someone, that was an actual really thin, really tall actor in a tailor-made, skin-tight suit she that was her. amazing. So I'm going to go crooked man. Dirk, do you have an opinion on that? Crooked man or, or who? The pale man from Pan's Labyrinth. I'd say pale man. Yeah. Why, though? How would he win? I, I, I... I enjoy him. I got. I, I, think would I take, enjoy I, him. I, 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 think I think he would take like a giant bite out of the. Uh, okay, that's he. He would definitely. He yeah. would. Fuego. Yeah. He's interdimensional. I'm going with uh, yeah, the pants labyrinth here. Okay, uh, Marcia. Uh, I want to say the crooked man because I feel like he's. I feel like he's got some tricks up his sleeve we haven't seen yet. I've Perhaps. seen neither. I will stay out of Perhaps. this discussion. <laughs> Perhaps the Game lazy labyrinth. gamer. Really the lazy good. gamer. You're 17, bro. Wow. Damn. Why are you going to throw numbers out? It says, you know, guys, there are so many people my age out there that don't think about horror movies like I do. I'm 17. I'm a sucker for Evil Dead, but I also love thoughtful horror movies like The Monster. No, oh, good, good, good segue, good segue. Because wow, that's impressive. On my list, The Monster was my favorite. Why is that impressive? Favorite. I was watching horror movies when I was eight years old. Well, I was too. <laughs> uh, the no. Monster was my no favorite offense. horror movie of last year. The Monster I, was absolutely the best just story. Why you're Ryan Bertino. Like, did you see that, that one yet, Dirk? Yeah, I did. What'd you think? Uh, I didn't think it was as good as you guys Why made. didn't you like it? I, I, I saw it because you guys said yeah. how much you loved it. But I just thought that. Oh, uh, uh, did you need me to get my wallet out? Do I owe you some money? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you talking yeah. about the monster? Yeah, I would like one fifty-six. Oh, tree fifty. How about tree fifty? From, uh, from from the red box. Go ahead. Why, did, why didn't you like it? Why didn't you like it? Um, I just thought that the Wait, whole that the box, so like what? mother thing was like drawn out a little mm. bit. Like, We're I don't know. About. Like her being an alcoholic. Like there at first, like I I really felt fell for it. I was like emotionally uh, invested in, invested in, mm. in the movie but then like it just got a little ridiculous there was just too many flashback sequences mm. um, and then the reveal of the monster I didn't think that he looked that great so I, I can understand that but you know we might have built the monster up a little bit because he was clearly a dude in a suit Mm -hmm. But they slimed him up enough and, and, and made him work on his actual monstrous movements mm -hmm. enough that I, I thought it worked well. I just didn't think there was enough animatronics with, like, the mouth and stuff like that. I understand and, that. Uh, it didn't look... At, it was... I, I said it even, I think, during the Monsters review that we did, but it, it looked very akin to, but not quite as good as the creatures from Attack of the Block. Hmm. Oh, Attack of the Block Operable. was amazing. That's another creature movie. That yeah. is an absolutely amazing creature movie. Did you well, see that one? Very young John Boyega. Very young John Boyega. John Boyega. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and those creatures were, they, they almost blended in with the black environment, except when their mouths open and you can yeah. see the fluorescent teeth. Yeah. yeah. Like, that was so badass. So Attack of the Block, for sure. For okay, sure. getting back to it, because uh, we have a lot of people still. Basket Case was a great creature movie. Yeah, I said Basket Case versus Brain Damage. That was my, that was my first. Oh, that's a good one. Part two. Yeah, that's a basket good one. Case, Part two uh, is the best of the entire Basket Case series. The third one when they're singing on the bus and all that with goofiness. With Belial. just got a right? little bit too basket far. Basket Case is Belial. I love Frank Henlotter. He is one of my favorite horror directors. I'm not as big on uh, Frankenhooker as a lot of people, but that I mean, the, the Basket Case series and Brain Damage, which is still one of my favorite horror movies ever. It is strange. <laughs> like seriously, seriously strange. The crazy parasite worm thing that's on his neck and goes around killing people and it's got some of the best dialogue as far as just strange <laughs> Hi Kitty. <laughs> Existential, uh, you know, it's it's all over the place. It's, it's very psychedelic in a lot of ways because basically what the worm 
creature in brain damage does is it attaches to this New York guy's neck and then it gives him like a poisonous almost like drug that fucks him up and makes him high and makes him trip out like he's on psychedelics and it expands his mind and it is so colorfully shot it is so weird I cannot just recommend brain damage enough man I love that film um, yeah. Okay, so moving on, we got another question from uh, the Late Late Horror Show. What's your favorite era of horror, if you have one? Um, this isn't a uh, quite creature, but we can we can run through this real quick. I would say 80s as well, because it, it laid the groundwork for the stuff that I really like, and, and the script that I wrote, quite frankly, is very 80s as well. Well, dude, most of the movies that we were praising, from The Thing to The Blob... Uh, we haven't touched on The Fly yet, all remakes, but yet remakes done in the 80s, you know? I mean, the 80s was a glorious decade for horror, and the 90s was more sarcastic, self-referential, and meta. I disagree. Really? You think the 90s are better? Yeah, the 90s are awesome. I think that's when I really got into horror. Like, I've been watching stuff since I was a little, 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 but in the 90s, I feel like I was at the prime age for like accepting the horror and understanding it a little bit better. Plus you got like, you got Scream, you got the faculty. Love the faculty. You know. <laughs> Faculty's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Robert Rodriguez, dude. Yeah. yeah, I was a big, big fan of the 90s horror. Cause I like this like, the like sarcastic type of stuff. Plus like, and then um, Silent like Hill started coming out and like just kind of, and then you have Disturbing Resident behavior. Evil started coming out. Disturbing Behavior was interesting. Uh, I, I don't think homes. it was that great, but I don't, I don't know. I just feel like I appreciated it more. Got you where I want you. All right, so moving on. Um, okay, lots of great talk. I uh, hope you keep these up. Uh, the Conjuring 2, mm. we talked about that. The Pale Man all the way. People She's are just... still fighting about that. Uh, yep, so it was great. American Werewolf in London. Um, that's right. a classic yeah. uh, werewolf the here? one. The, the... The ones we yeah, because uh, we're basically going to wrap this up about 8 o'clock. You guys, we want to keep these about an hour long if we can. we got 10 minutes. Um, so we got about 10 minutes. Uh, Evil Dead is my favorite already. series. <laughs> Stay Puft Marshmallow Man versus Godzilla. Ooh. Mr. Stay Puft. <laughs> um, Godzilla would just roast him one time with Make his breath. Uh, <laughs> Autopsy of Jane Doe. Um, quite a creature movie. Uh, I still really liked it, though. That was mm. a good man. Uh, the Babadook versus the Crooked Man. Ooh. Um, I would still take Crooked Man in that battle. The monster was okay. Didn't like the relationship between the mother and the daughter. Ball says the creature was cool, though. Verove between the monster and the Babadook. Um, Babadook versus Crooked Man. A lot of people like that. Uh, Leatherface versus Victor Crowley. Uh, so Chadwick Strawn says, which Chadwick has been liking a lot of our stuff on Facebook. Thank you, sir, for that. Um, I would go Victor Crowley because I think Victor Crowley is like a more amped up version of the 80s slashers that we got. Yeah, I know you love the hatchet. When you say Crowley, I just think Supernatural. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just think Mr. Victor Crowley. Ah. Bam, bam, bam. That's what you started. <laughs> that one, I don't know. That one kind of gets me thinking about more like classic uh, folklore, like uh, the headless oh, horseman. Oh, yeah. Sleepy Hollow is crazy. Sleepy like, Hollow is amazing. Stuff. Tim Burton, kind of lost you know, uh, versus with uh, something like that. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, that's something on Origin of Evil. That's okay. It's okay. My phone needs to be charged, but this is not stopping <laughs> Jurassic me. Park. Yeah, Jurassic Park Kitty. on here. I am totally a fan of the Crowley Jurassic versus Park. Jason. That's is a creature, thing, man. Yeah. yeah. Um, Zephyriel says, "OMG, the fly." The yeah, fly is a fly classic. Some, uh, okay, so uh, they're uh, sorry, I don't know what they're making right now. It uh, could be yeah. me because I'm messing with yeah, this Yeah, stop playing with things. Shut up. Um, <laughs> Fly was excellent, good and Put scary. Put a muzzle on it. Guilty pleasures. <laughs> I like Grave Encounters. I like Grave Encounters as well, oh, Lazy yeah. Gamer, because that was the pinnacle of all of these stupid um, ghost hunting shows on TV that never find anything. This is what if it's the last episode of that ghost hunting yeah. show and they actually found something. Mm -hmm. So I love the Grave Encounters movies myself as well, yeah, especially really since the second one sort of did the same thing that the Human Centipede 2 did, but did it in a much better way, which is where the first one was a movie and people went to the location right. to try and figure out what happened and they got drawn into the horror of it. Oh, so, like uh, Blair Witch too? Yeah, that's true too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. Don't diss Blair Witch wow, around Marsha. No, nope, she um, attacked. Okay, Decker to the Slasher was the 80s. You guys love horror movies so much. It's gotten me into more horror movies. Good job, Lazy Gamer. Horror movies are where it's at. I mean, 
Go Honestly, see life. think oh about God, it. Can we talk about life? That's oh, movie. yes, that's a perfect creature movie, Come yeah. On. We went and saw Life, you guys. If you haven't watched our review, we loved Life. It was Alien by Way of Gravity life. is the way I described it in our review. Oh and um, it was really excellent. The CG was cool. The deaths were gruesome and fun without being... Yeah. Overly gory. Yeah, um, it was traumatic. It's a great movie. <laughs> some of the some of the scenes on it just got me because you're talking about an alien that not only wants to understand your makeup, but it wants to destroy you at the same time while it's doing it. It's just oh god. And the trolls on the review are pretty funny. Really? Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> we have trolls. We have trolls on that life review. Zethrael Zethra says seventies for the win. The Exorcist, Argento period, um, not so, so good. good. I haven't read any of Not So Good's comments, but they jumped in and said the Reanimator versus Return of the Living Dead. Which was the better horror comedy? I love Return of the Living Dead. Me too. <laughs> we need more horror. Well, I'd be I'd be on the Return of the Living Dead before I'd be on. Uh, I didn't watch you. Um, Reanimator. Was, did, yeah, the I first Return of the Living Dead did that end with um, the the. The guy, the zombie bursting through, and they freeze frame when he bursts through to get to the last remaining girl who's like, Julia, or something like that. Like, what fucking zombie movie was that? I swear it's that, Return man. of the Living Dead, but I could be wrong. Anytime I think Return of the Living Dead, that girl dancing in the graveyard, that <laughs> naked punch <laughs> Of course. <laughs> I was like, damn. Well, Target. Well, on his too. suppressed baptism. I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> Next. Um, okay, next. Uh, Planet, of the Apes, Planet of the Apes versus King Kong. Uh, King Kong, uh, King Kong for sure. Yeah. Uh, Although okay. they're all been elevated until I. The see. host versus Jaws. Oh. The host is more has got more options to him. I but feel like they the would, host would win. They wouldn't meet that. I mean, the host can swim, but he wouldn't pick out a fight with a shark. I don't think. Maybe so, I don't know. What do we know? Aquaman wins. That's what I. Uh, okay. Aquaman wins. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Thing versus alien. The Thing versus Alien. I think The Thing would win. Mm -hmm. I haven't watched If the it's thing, just so. one alien, I mean... Well, yeah. there's never just well, one what, what, alien. What would, what well, would the aliens the do movie. against The Thing, though? They would... And they would just sure. be enveloped by it. They would never be able to do anything yeah, to The I Thing. Yeah, right. It would be amassed into them because... I mean, it, it would burn away a good portion of The Thing with the acid blood. Mm. But then mm. it could still assume the form of the aliens and just not have the acid blood. So essentially, if you were, in a, if you were a human stuck in a war between The Thing and the kill aliens... Yourself. Kill yourself. first of all, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but There's second no of all, second of all, <laughs> there would be some things disguised as aliens, so you'd be being tracked by aliens with acid blood and things that could assimilate you that look like aliens. It would be pretty That's much scary, the scary, really. worst situation you could possibly come up with. Hmm. So yeah. thanks very that sounds much. Awful. Thanks, Chadwick, for that. Uh, it sounds for that like an thought. amazing movie, Appreciate but it, it. sounds awful. Awesome. That's um, okay. a nightmarish. <laughs> 80s were way better than 90s. Baby I enjoyed man. Life also. Also, I haven't seen Life, but I want to. It's Have you guys heard the good. rumor about what it was? Yeah, we mentioned in our review that we heard the rumor it was the Venom prequel movie. Um, that would have been really cool if it was jo you know John Jameson bringing Venom back. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I, I don't. I think it's just this thing. You guys don't worry about it. Just we're hearing time. weird noises in our headphones. But I'm not. Um, <laughs> let the right one in. I don't think that could count as a creature movie so much as just a straight that. Love that movie. Um, vampire movie. I can't do this. Another thing being remade into a TV series right now. Um, I was going to see Life Reanimator, Lovecraft. Um, do you guys know there's a Saw movie coming out this year? Yes, Saw we Legacy. do. Yeah. Saw Legacy. We've been covering it on the news the whole way. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I need, a, I need a drink, but let's... Uh, what about The Thing versus Starro? Oh, life, that's funny. <clears throat> mm. um, I get you, Gomez. <clears throat> David Gomez said, "What about? <laughs> sorry, what about the thing versus Starro, which was in life the creature looked almost like what Starro would look like." And I think I even mentioned that in our review. Mm. Um, I said after watching the thing or life that if they ever did a DC Starro movie, you did say that it yeah, would did. scare the crap out of me. So yeah. That would be really funny. Um, the zombie said, Tina! Thank you! That's what it was. Tina! At the end of Return of the Living Dead. So I'm not crazy. Thank you, not so good. Huh? Uh, you just um, have yeah, because it, it was a freeze frame ending where she's barricaded herself in the attic of a house and the zombies are coming in and 
It's like her boyfriend. He busts in and they freeze from him. He's like, Tina. And that's how the movie him. ends. And she ate him. Well, wasn't it that Return everything the blows up? Yes, Return of the Living Dead. No, Never seen don't it? they They send a missile? Yeah, and they, they just blow up the whole the Okay, well, maybe they yeah. freeze frame on that and then the missile blows it up. Mm. Either way, either way, I got back up. I got back up. Not so good, you and I are crazy together. Um, so the 90s had Randall Flagg in movie form, though, Rubber Soul says. Well, of course. Chadwick yeah, Strong says The Giver. I would say Ooh. The Giver is awesome. The Giver is almost a proto Power Rangers mm. or a dark, dark version yeah, of Power right Rangers. Now. With Mark Hamill. Over my head. Was, was Mark Hamill in was that? Was the original Giver. He was the Giver kid? <laughs> What? Oh my god! Mind blown! Like, I love the Guyver movies, I but I the hated Giver. the second one. But yeah. Mark Hamill was the fucking Guyver? Yeah, the first guy. Wow, I need to rewatch the Guyver. Have you guys seen the Guyver? No, I have no, no idea. idea. No, I heard about him <laughs> Okay, the Guyver is an amazing sort of thing where it's almost like Power Rangers except it's a guy that has this, this suit that he, like, he taps something in this suit goes over his whole body and he's mm -hmm. got spikes that'll shoot out of his elbows and things like that like and spot? he fights alien threats like alien monster threats that are almost like power rangery where like uh like or if you imagined the bad guys from thundercats mm -hmm. you know or or even toka and razar from the teenage Mutant ninja turtles too if they, were, if they were a you little smarter that. that would you be can't. Yeah, the creatures that he goes up against in the Giver. So yeah, yeah. the Giver is an excellent creature pull. Power Rangers so, you know? and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles don't mix. Wow. Oh. Ninja Turtles can mix with anything. Batman. No, I'm just saying I am not a fan of Power Rangers, and I just think they're so campy. I just can't. I just. Are you a fan of yeah. Ninja Turtles? Yes. So way that's, better that's quality. Not campy at all. <laughs> yeah. Way better okay. quality and more interesting. Stepping out of this. Recently, he went back to work. Um, Candyman versus Freddy Krueger. Ooh, mm. not monsters, but not monsters, but a worthwhile. Dude, Freddy Candyman Elf, still Elf freaks Dane, me out. That be my victim. Oh my god, <laughs> he's that so seductive and dangerous. I know, Marcia, you you would have like you would have gotten boned by Candyman if you yeah. Yeah. boned. I don't know about bone. <laughs> <laughs> but That's a glass soundtracks. You would have you would have let him hook you. Dude, if like, you know what I mean? I, I remember. <laughs> Mandible claw. <laughs> I, if, when I still watch those movies, it still freaks me out, and I don't know why, I don't know if it's just the, like, Bloody Mary kind of thing about it, like, the whole, like, it, he could show up behind me and, like, rip me up, like, just, like, Biggie like, Smalls. Ooh. Biggie Smalls. I guess Biggie that Smalls. was very sexual. He could come up behind me and then rip me the pieces. A new one. You know, one that, I, <laughs> Nobody one that I almost forgot to mention, which I really love. Directed by uh, Sean Cunningham. Mark Hamill wasn't singer. the Giver, but he was in the movie as the cop who gets turned into one of the creatures. No. Oh, okay. well, there you go. Okay. Right. Thank you for the correction. Thank you for the fact check. That was it's, flesh off guys, Frankenstein. Thank yes. you, sir. Film I was just about to mention is Deep Star Six, and Deep Star Good Six one. is badass. Whoa. As is Leviathan, which I think came out right about the same time. It's more aquatic creature. I don't watch enough creature Silliness, movies. but uh, both both of those are awesome. Deep Star Six, where the guy gets like bit in half when he's in like the pressure suit, like swimming around down there, and when they pull the suit back up, and there's just half of it there. It's so awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, we are pretty much caught up, and it is yeah. eight oh four. So we are past the hour mark here. I think that's as good a time as any to end this. We Thank you guys very much for joining up. Um, <laughs> well, that escalated quickly, Marsha. <laughs> um, so, As it usually does. Yeah, so thank you guys very much for joining in and sending us your questions. Again, we're going to be here every single freaking Sunday at 7 freaking p.m. Pizza, sorry. Um, this is an extended really time. Excited. I'm really excited. No, this was yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, I think this is going to be good for us, and we'll choose a new theme every uh, every week if we can. Yeah. Um, but like uh, mark it on your calendars. Um, I don't know if we'll get Andrew Mercer in here the whole time, but he he jumped in as soon as everyone requested him. So everyone, yeah. I think it was one. Person. As soon as one person requested, I but requested nonetheless, you. We're fan pleasers here. So uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Until next episode, which you guys will see um, Fuego's Hail to the Ste Hail to Stephen King show up a little bit later tonight. Um, thank you once again for uh, Dirk showing up yeah. and helping out once again as yeah, well with we this. All hail to Dirk. 
Yes, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have some more work to do for the show tonight. We've got a couple of more things to film, including we're going to be filming our very first... Uh, reacting to haters comments video and it's directed towards me yeah so, so stay too. tuned for I that i need you guys. guys to stand up for my honor you don't have to stand up for don't me do i'd make my bed and i'd bury myself don't in do it. it but in the interest of us getting to filming more episodes for you guys <laughs> thank you very much for watching i've been cecil laird Derek karen grassy i've been having a i'm marcia parker andrew mercer and until next time remember stay, stay scared wouldn't that be all <laughs> wow! Oh, so they're gonna see us go test shut stop. everything off. Stop. Stop. Yep. Yeah. Where's stop? Shut everything off. Where is it? I don't know where it's at. Oh, no. I don't see it. You're not stopping it up in the top. <laughs> finish. Hey, it says finish, not stop. <laughs>